Well, my laptops are gonna. But luckily for me, my files aren't, thanks to OneDrive Backup. Titles! Even if you don't need it, a safety net can give you so much peace of mind. And if you do need it, like I clearly do, you'll be glad it's there. Backing up your files is that safety net to ensure you never lose those precious photos or important documents. In Windows, it takes just a few seconds to set up automatic cloud backup, so let me show you how. First, click the OneDrive icon, which is this little cloud icon in your notification area. You may need to hit this arrow if OneDrive is hidden here. Then, just click the little gear in the top right and hit Settings. This should take me straight to the Sync and Backup tab. And here you can select Manage Backup and then just choose which folders to sync by clicking on the toggle buttons. It's that easy to make sure the selected folders and files automatically sync to OneDrive for safekeeping. Everyone with a Microsoft account gets five gigabytes of OneDrive cloud storage for free, which is perfect for keeping only the most important files safe. However, if you have a Microsoft 365 family or personal subscription, then this increases your storage to one terabyte. That means on average, you could save roughly 2 million documents or 300,000 photos or 1,000 hours of high definition video. Yeah. Now check out how easy it is to also sync the files. Let's open a new Word document and have Copilot draft a new process document for what to do if you lose all of your files. Once Copilot is done, I'll save this file to my documents and close Word. If we look at the file from File Explorer, you can see that the checklist has saved once the green check appears. And I don't even need to keep using my Windows device as I can even access the backed up files from any compatible device like this MacBook. Or you can use them online using the Microsoft account or try OneDrive. Just make sure to log in using the same account across both devices. And that's everything you need to do to back up your files in the cloud on Windows. If you have any questions about OneDrive or need a tutorial on anything else on Windows, then let us know in the comments below. Now I've just got to tidy up this mess.